Hi everyone and welcome back to Switch Up. It is Sunday again and that means we're going to look at the best games that are on sale at the moment, or at least my best picks, a couple of games that you should avoid as well as a hidden gem. And I think I've actually managed to find a gem that most of you wouldn't know about as well, so I'm pretty happy with that. This episode was sponsored by Coingate. If you want to check them out, there'll be links in the description as well as a top pin comment. I'll tell you a little bit about them in a minute, they're actually very cool. To absolutely nobody's surprise, we've got an extension on our 10% discount for another month using our code SWITCHUP over at switchup.gg and that's thanks to you guys and us to be honest actually using it. There's also a few pre-orders on there like Mario Strikers if you want to go and check that out. What are the best games on sale this week? Well, it's a very good week actually, let's find out. Let's start then with the absolute goat, and it's Monster Hunter Rise. It's an important time for this to go on sale at 50% off because Sunbreak is releasing in around about two or three weeks time, and that is very good. Now, one of those little clicky boxes should come up at the top of the screen here. Click that and it will it will queue up the video of our experience with Sunbreak for after you've watched. But Monster Hunter Rise at 50% off, it's a brilliant time to pick it up. There's potentially hundreds and hundreds of hours of gameplay here. It is actually very fast. It's an action-based game where you're looking to hunt down monsters and kill them. In many ways, it's quite a repetitive loop. You kill monsters, you get better gear, you kill more monsters. But the toughest fights require real skill, and with the release of Sunbreak, well, the difficulty is improving. When I say improving, I mean it's getting harder. They're including a master rank, which is much needed, honestly. If you're a monster hunter of old, Rise feels a tiny bit easier than some of the older games. Coingate allows you to use your cryptocurrency to buy gift cards for most of the major retailers. And statistically, most of you will now have cryptocurrency. There are a few benefits. One of the chief ones is that you keep all your personal data secure. You don't even need to log in, it's literally just your email address so they can send it to you. And it also uses Lightning Network, which if you know about cryptocurrency means you're going to pay less fees. The cards themselves are delivered instantly and you can send these across to whoever you want. You'll find thousands of brands. As you can see, I've chosen Nintendo Switch Online cards. 3% discount if you use our link, which is in the top in comment. As you can see, adding it to your basket and then checking out is super simple. It takes around 30 seconds. And as I say, not having to use or set up an account is a real benefit. It's not just Bitcoin though. You can use Litecoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and even my XRP works. If you're so inclined, you can enter their month to month promotions, which give you discounts, cashbacks, different promo codes, just to give it more incentive and make it a touch more rewarding. Please do use our promo code, save yourself 3% discount on your first vouchers, and at the same time, you're supporting the channel. So thanks very much. Straight off the back of that then, we've got Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin, which my daughter has finally finished and she absolutely loved it. There was a little bit of backtracking. There are a few times where she got a tiny bit stuck, but she found it very cool how you gradually got more monsters and then they unlocked new travel possibilities like you got your Athelos and then you could fly around. A classic style turn-based RPG, loads of side content, around about 100 hours of content to do everything, maybe a little bit more. There is a ton of pointless costume DLC, but I wouldn't let her go anywhere near that nonsense and you're looking at around about 14 gigs if you want to install this one or at least make sure you've got space for it it's the cheapest it's ever been and that sale goes on until june the 26th like the other monster hunter game Then we've got Resident Evil 4 on its cheapest ever price, unsurprisingly, with the announcement of the remaster. I know some people are a bit salty over the amount of remakes, sorry I should say, that we're having, but they are very good, aren't they? Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes were brilliant, and they almost don't feel like the same games. And it's not like they're not working on new stuff. You've got Village that's just come out. I know they're working on another game as well. So Resident Evil 4, it's one of the most beloved Wii Resident Evil games. The motion controls on the Wii version were perfect. I don't know why they haven't put that onto the Switch version and that would be my biggest complaint about it. But at 50% off £7.99, it's still a good piece of Resident Evil history to go back and play. And that sale is on until June the 15th.
Why on earth you'd want to play a horrific survival game that involves pulling leeches off your legs every time you walk through water? Well, I'm not entirely sure, but for some reason I do enjoy them. Green Hell is about the hardest one I think I've ever played. It's brutal for the first maybe hour or two until you figure out some of the recipes and the different crafting items. And just when you think you've got to grips with it, someone springs out of the forest and fires a spear through your guts. So yeah, if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, it's currently 90% off. £2.24, that is such a barjan. It's very much an adult game. It's actually quite a scary game as well. When you set up your camp in like a cave and you feel like you've got it all sorted only to leave and find some rather unfriendly wildlife waiting for you. Or you get bitten when you're miles away from camp and you're desperately struggling as you bleed across the, uh, the jungle. It's yeah. It has the perfect survival scenario, really. That sale goes on until June the 22nd. Interestingly, I've been replaying through The Outer Worlds for the third time at the moment on the Steam Deck. And The Outer Worlds, the board approved bundle on the Switch. Although the visuals, you know, they're not the greatest on the Switch. There's no two ways about it. It still plays just fine for me. Yes, there are some areas that lag a little, but the core gameplay, that Fallout style exploration and some really unusual characters just carry it through. As I say, although I'm playing it now on Steam Deck, my brain isn't saying this is noticeably better. It's more like, hey, let's try and do that side quest we didn't do last time. It has gyro controls on the Switch version, load times are okay, and there's a ton of content. This pack obviously includes all of the DLCs that they've released, which has been a, a wide variety. There was the murder on Eradanos, which I reviewed. There was Peril on Gorgon. And is there one more coming? I can't remember. You'll have to let me know. But well worth it, in my opinion, at half price. That is a US only sale, though, I'm afraid. So if you're in the EU, you'll have to wait until it comes across or just pick it up with a US region account. One of the weakest areas for most consoles, understandably with the control scheme, are real-time strategy games. Ancestors Legacy is probably the best we have on Switch at the moment, or at least one of the best, and it's currently 70% off in most regions. In terms of how it plays, it feels like a scaled down Total War game. There are four different nations that you can play as, you can tweak the tactics of your group, and they've opted for a reasonably intuitive radial menu system. As with lots of these games, you might see cards in the corner where we have a review of it. If you want to watch that review, just click the card and it will queue it up for your uh, for your viewing pleasure after you finish this video. To be honest, I only actually figured out how cards worked recently. I thought you'd click a card and it would take you off that video. So um, shows uh, we're really good at this YouTube-y thing. You're looking at around about 30 to 50 hours of gameplay there. There's a lot of content and a 4 gig download. That sale ends on June the 12th. I absolutely love the Shantae series. Fun fact, the uh, hair whipping mechanic was because I think it's a couple that made this and the uh, the lady used to whip the guy as he was doing the work on his computer. She used to whip him with his hair, with her hair. And uh, he was like, yeah, they put it in the game. Now, Half Genie Hero, the Ultimate Edition, has a lot of the games in it. It's half price at the moment. It's just £10.94. And that comes with all of the DLC that they'd released, all the new modes, loads of new costumes. It's like back in the day when you could buy a game and you actually got all of the game rather than a slice of it. And then you had to buy the other slices. Brilliant platforming with a little sneaky sprinkling of some RPG elements and a couple of like a little droplet of uh, almost like Metroidvania in there as well. Very very good lovely art style as well. Only 2.7 gigs to download and that sale goes on until June the 16th. It's very very highly recommended from, from us. This US sale is one that I said I would mention after it was on sale over here in the UK and it was our hidden gem pickup. It's Rainworld. It's currently half price in the US regions and it's absolutely brilliant but horribly brutal. Very unkind. Doesn't hold your hand in any way, shape or form. And um, yeah, it's really difficult. It's one that Glenn and I played and we were like, we know this is amazing, but we hate it. And then after some perseverance, I've actually grown to really enjoy it. There's over 1600 different rooms and there's 12 completely unique regions and they also included a slightly odd offline multiplayer arena but I kind of just ignore that section and you can choose between a monk or a hunter very surreal game quite 
well more than quite very challenging and you'll kind of know if this is for you 2.1 gigs as i say and it is on sale until june the 10th Here's another game that I really enjoyed. It was Streets of Rogue. Again, box in the corner with our review. It reminded me so much of old school Syndicate. I loved Syndicate and Syndicate Wars. They're just, they were just brilliant games. And for me, Streets of Rogue isn't as good, but it has elements of those in it. You can choose one of so many different classes and you can unlock a ridiculous amount of classes. <laughs> there's like, there's, there's a class for everything. They'll have a different loadout. They'll have different effects on the world. And in, in the Syndicate moment, you have this kind of area that's playing out for itself and you might be asked to do different jobs within it. But then you'll also have pedestrians in air quote going about their business really underrated in my opinion one of the most underrated games on switch it also has four player multiplayer if you've got a group of you this can just be golden you know sometimes you might be asked to uh, breach or infiltrate a specific area but if you haven't got a class that has um, charges you can blow the wall through then you have to go a completely different route but if you've got a group of you you generally have someone that has the skill you need man I'm, I'm getting excited I need to go out and play the game it's only 496 megs and that sale goes on until June the 23rd can I come up with a hidden gem that most of you have never played before? Challenge accepted. I think I can. I, I don't know, maybe I can. It's Weaving Tides. Ever heard of it? Ever played it? Hopefully the answer to that question is no. But it's a really nice little puzzle adventure that, as the title suggests, sees you literally weaving to defeat enemies. You have to, like, wrap them up. But you'll also use that weaving to solve puzzles. I mean, how delightful does this look? I remember when I first saw it come up, I think it was probably on a Twitter, it's usually on Twitter, where the developers are creating their games and they're posting pictures. I was like, I am going to enjoy that game. And I did. I thought it was really good. It's very mysterious. It has a beautiful soundtrack. And was this also on iOS? I just feel like I've watched my kids play it and gone, when, when did that release? And then looked on Switch and seen that it's already out. But there's also a creative mode where you can just chill. Do you know what? I'm going to make a note. This is going in my relaxing games list as well, which we have actually started to create. There you go, Weaving Tides. I just wrote it down. But here on Switch, I'd say it's a hidden gem. It's 40% off, taking it down to $14.99. But you've only got two days to pick it up. So if you don't pick it up today or Monday, I'm afraid it's too late. And that leaves us then with a game or two that you should avoid. And also, I'll try and give you a good alternative because that was someone's suggestion in the comments and we are certainly not beyond uh, trying to improve. First up, we've got Rico London. Now, Rico London was... Eh, I mean, I just pulled that. You know, the cringe emoji face. face. It, it, it was that. It was so bad. But it was broken. It was full of bugs everywhere. You'd find yourself falling through the floor. And it wasn't just that. The first Rico game, although it wasn't a masterpiece, the co-op on it, it felt fluid, you know? You'd work your way through different scenario floors, and here they removed any of the nuance from it. It was just... You'd see the repeated same area over and over again. It was... Oh, no, it was bad. A nice alternative might be something like Immortal Redneck. That was a very cool first-person shooter set in Egypt, but it had roguelike mechanics that made a bit more sense. You return to that that main area, you got new weapons and gear, and there was a story that ran through the whole thing. So, yeah, I'd say that's probably a, a better alternative. I'm going to throw in a bonus game here because I don't want to say another avoid when this one's there and you should try it out. If you remember, we spoke about Clan O'Connell and the Crown Stag a couple of weeks ago. Well, they've actually put it almost on an instant sale, probably because it got buried in the eShop. It's 47% off, taking it down to £3.91. And it's a lovely action platform adventure game. If you take a look, it kind of reminds me of um, Guacamole in, times in, in, in its style. And it's set in the ancient land of Hibernia and is all based around Celtic mythology. There are three different characters to control, a really nice hand-painted style and a decent story as well. So that's it for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We hope it is useful to some of you. And it's just really nice seeing some people put in the comments, you know, this is my Sunday tradition. Well, it's definitely my Sunday tradition. So yeah, it's nice that some of you join me for it. As mentioned, this video was sponsored by Coingate. Please support us and them by using our 3% discount when you purchase a voucher on their website. And if you're a cryptocurrency owner, it's a very swift and easy way of buying your online gift cards. I hope you have a really good week and it's a nice uh, chill one. And if it's not, I hope that it's one that's rewarding. For all things Switch, oh, thanks to our patrons, you guys are awesome. For all things Switch, all the time, keep it Switch up. Cheers, guys. See ya!